Hey, it's Mark Ferguson with Investor More, and I'm standing outside one of the units on our 68,000 square foot commercial property that is now leased and rented and just about done. Um, this property has a coffee shop over there with a land lease, a grocery store behind this, restaurant there, this unit, then our office right there, and another little office there. And when we bought this property, we had two vacant units, this unit and our office. We fixed up our office, moved into it, generated income because I'm paying myself. I have a partner on this property, so I'm paying myself and him for rent. And then we also just got this leased as well. So now we'll be in even better position on this property. We bought it for 2.1 million and total rent now is going to be around 20... 4000 a month, I believe, in that range. Um, oh, this is one of those doors. One of the things we had done here is a dance studio moving in, and they wanted a special door that locks automatically. So, there we go. I have to try and open it with one hand. So this space was a thrift shop when we bought it, and I'll show the before video, with a low drop ceiling and we actually had our temporary office in here for a few months while we fixed up the other space. And I'll show a video of that as well, or a link to it. And we tried leasing this space for a while. It took quite a bit to get some interest in it, but had a few people, a dance studio, another event center, a laundromat, who all wanted to lease it, but the laundromat wanted us to spend literally like $200,000 to fix it up for them, and it would take 10 years to get our money back. So, weren't big fans of that. Uh, we weren't huge fans of the event center because they didn't want to sign a shorter term lease, and we weren't real excited about you know how well they would do. They'd never done it before, um, and they wanted us to put in a bar. They said they wanted a liquor license, and we probably couldn't do that because the restaurant has a liquor license next door. And part of their lease says no one can compete with them for a liquor license. So, lots of reasons why we chose the dance studio, but they signed a five year lease and we'll be bringing in about $3,000 a month now in rent and triple N costs. And those are costs for the whole building, um, parking lot, maintenance, stuff like that. Plus, they'll be paying utilities on top of that. So, we were paying utilities before as landlords. So really we'll be making $3,500 a month more now having this leased. So this little room here before was kind of like a, just a small wash room. And we just put some cheap cabinets in there for them. Uh, the bathrooms, we didn't do a whole lot, but we did replace the flooring and the vanities and the faucets, nothing fancy. The flooring, we redid all of it. And this is what they chose. Um, not my favorite. I would have preferred like a, you know, a liquid or yeah, vinyl plank, water resistant commercial flooring. That's what we've done in our other stuff. But this is what they wanted to do. So um, that's what we went with. And then, yeah, you can see the ceilings. We did the exact same thing in the golf studio, the golf simulator, which is back there. Um, just took out the lower ceiling tiles. So there's another you know, frame for ceiling tiles bef below what you see here is like eight feet tall. And we left the upper frame so we could just put all the lights in, painted everything black, had to redo some of the HVAC pipes, but that wasn't too crazy. And we had to redo all the sprinklers. So all the sprinklers pointed down before for the drop ceiling. And we had to have a sprinkler company come in and point them back up. So that was five grand just to do that alone. Um, the total cost to do this um, place was probably, we were hoping to get it done for $30,000. Um, the women's bathroom, we had to add that toilet. They wanted two toilets. And then there's going to be still the last thing, uh, the little barriers, whatever they're called, for the bathroom stalls. Redid the vanities there, flooring. But um, we're hoping to get this done for $30,000. We probably went over a little bit, but I don't have all the numbers in yet. It was our contractor, our hourly guy, who did most of the work. 
but we'd have to bring in electrician HVAC to do some of the stuff. Those doors, we had to have special doors put in, which were $3,200 for those doors, but the dance studio was paying for half of that and had to have these windows put in, which were kind of special windows. And then, you know, just stuff adds up quickly. <laughs> but uh, got it almost all the way done. The only things that they are gonna do is they're putting in their dance studio floor. So that's their responsibility. We're not doing that. And so they have to do that still. They've got some of their stuff in here. This space before was kind of broken up into a few offices, conference rooms, really chopped up and weird. And we just blew out almost all the walls, rebuilt these walls. Um, the bathrooms are the same, but um, these are all brand new. Much better use of space now. If for some reason the dance studio did leave, it's set up pretty good for another dance studio or you know, some kind of other business that would like big rooms like this. And you could make it into smaller offices if you really wanted to, but before it was just really chopped up and really weird. Um, but yeah, you can see two huge studios. Looks pretty good. We'll see what kind of flooring they put in. Um, these, they added two changing rooms, which my contractor approved without asking us, but um, that's okay. But something that we don't like happening. So those are there. And then this right here is their little um, merchandise kind of sales room where they sell things. So they wanted that pink. That's actually the pink that we used in my baby's nursery. So Irely, our daughter was born three weeks ago tomorrow. She came home from the NICU last week, so that's been great. She's about four and a half weeks early. So good to have her home. And this is the pink that was in her nursery and our contractor who did this project helped do um, the nursery in our house to redo that. So that's how we got that pink in there. Um, so that is the property. Um, like I said, it'll be adding $3,500 a month to our bottom line, which is fantastic because this property was already an amazing deal before you know having either one of these properties leased you know these units this unit or the unit we're in and now we've been you know we have a mortgage on this we put 25 percent down and we've been making more than ten thousand dollars a month because the tenants pay almost all the costs with the triple n leases and now we'll be making you know probably close to 14,000 a month because some of the leases are upping as well. Like every year, just about every lease, except for the coffee shop, has their rent increase about two or 3%. So as we own it, the mortgage gets paid down, which isn't the biggest deal to me, but our cash flow goes up because the leases bump up every year. This one has a lease that bumps up every year. And we've got the place fully leased now. Like I said, we bought it for 2.1 million with all the income we have coming in now, you know, a year and a couple months later, is probably worth three and a half to four million dollars now. So I've gotten really spoiled by this property. I keep trying to find more of them like this and it's almost impossible just because it's such a great deal, but that doesn't mean I won't keep looking. So that's the property. I'll try and link some more um, videos to it that show before, our other office, all that good stuff. Of course, check out investformore.com. Have lots of articles on my rentals, our flips. You know, we did 26 flips last year. I've sold 14 so far this year. In, we're in June. Um, all kinds of good information there. Lots and lots of stuff. And of course, we appreciate any comments on YouTube. The thumbs up helps us out a lot. So, we'll have more videos coming up soon of the flips, maybe some more rentals and advice videos as well and this might be the last video we do of this property for a while because it's all rented and leased and there's not a whole lot going on so thanks for watching hope you guys enjoyed it and uh we'll talk again soon